when Mecca was conquered. Two people together, they fought with the Sahaba radiallahu anhum. Then they realized that there is no hope. Safwan ibn Umayyah, remember one of the chieftains of the Quraysh, Ikrimah, the son of Abu Jahl, both of them, their fathers were the chief opponents of the Messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. They had lost everything. They had failed in every battle, and now their city, their fortress was now conquered. Safwan, the son of Umayyah, despaired. Ikrimah, the son of Abu Jahl, despaired. And they both decided that we will flee, we will never stay in Mecca. So Ikrimah and Safwan, together they fled out of the city. When they fled, Safwan was so despondent that he actually made an intention to commit suicide. And he said, I will commit suicide by plunging myself into the sea. And Ikrimah decided not to commit suicide, but he decided to travel by sea to another land, across the Red Sea to Abyssinia. Ikrimah went and he boarded a ship. The ship was caught in a storm. When it was caught in a storm, his fellow travelers all began screaming and shouting, and some of them suggest one of them suggested that sincerely pray, because if you are not sincere now in your prayer and in your supplication, then nothing will save you, i.e., your gods will not save you. So Ikrima, he had a revelation then, and he said, If only sincerity, and the meaning of sincerity here is making your prayer and supplication one and exclusive only for Allah, not to the idols. Because remember, they worshipped Allah too. But along with Allah, they worshipped a pantheon of gods. So what the uh, person was saying is that do not pray to the pantheon of gods. Pray only to the supreme God. Because on this occasion, if you do not pray exclusively to the one supreme God, Allah, then the other pantheon of gods will not save you. So Ikrima said, if praying exclusively only to Allah will save me on, la on sea, then it seems that the only thing that will save me on land is also praying exclusively to Allah. So he, he was saved and he made a dua. He said, whilst... Imagine the storm is raging around him. And this is Ikrimah, the son of Abu Jahl. So he prayed to Allah saying, Oh Allah, I vow that if you save me from this storm and deliver, deliver me to the shore of safety, then I will go humbly before Muhammad, present myself to him and embrace his religion. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did save him. Ikrimah travelled from the Red Sea, back in, inland to Mecca, and he came to visit the Prophet ﷺ. When the Prophet ﷺ saw him, imagine this is Ikrimah, the son of Abu Jahl. Abu Jahl who did all that he did. And this is Ikrimah who fought against the Prophet ﷺ even at the conquest of Mecca and fled, not being able to bear the sight of the Muslims in Mecca. And yet how did the Prophet ﷺ receive him? Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam exclaimed, Welcome, O noble rider. And he welcomed him. Ikrima presented himself humbly, embraced Islam. Ikrima was devoted to the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wasallam. Thereafter, many years after, he actually died as a shaheed in the way of Allah.